Hey, this is Kenny the Jet Smith, and you're with JR Sport 3. So it's Fan Friday. It's all about you all and your comments. We're going to talk about everything from who wins the NBA scoring title this year to Real Madrid and Barcelona. We're even going to talk about Brett Favre. Yeah, it's kind of due time to talk about that guy. But since it's Fan Friday, it's time for today's JR All-Star, which is an exceptional high school athlete who is doing it up. And today we're highlighting my main man right there, Cody Dre from Ottawa, Canada. He's a goalie, and as you can see, he's stopping everything that approaches that net. We need to bring him down to America to help stop some crime. If you're a great high school athlete, just send me your link on Twitter or Facebook and make sure you put JR All-Star so we can show your face here next week. But it's Fan Friday and we're going into the first question, which comes in via Weird Lou Yankovic, which is probably no relation to Weird Al Yankovic. Who wins the NBA scoring title? Look. Carmelo Anthony was here on the Sport Brief a few weeks ago. We were talking about some of the top scorers in the NBA, and he won the title last year, and I think he'll do it again. Why? Because what does Carmelo Anthony do? The guy goes out there and he scores the basketball. The guy behind him, Kevin Durant, he's probably going to have to be a little bit more of a facilitator this upcoming season while Westbrook is gone. And then once Westbrook comes back, we all know Westbrook is going to do what Westbrook does. All my NBA fans out there know what he's about. Moving on to the next question for Fan Friday, but before I even go on to that, uh, James Harden is going to have to share the ball with your main man, Dwight Howard. Kyrie Irving, if he's healthy, he could bump in there. If Derrick Rose gets the minutes, he's obviously a threat to score. And LeBron James, well, LeBron could win the scoring title, but he has better things to do. And Kobe, I mean, we can probably X Kobe off the list. I'm sorry, all you Lager fans. Next question, Chad K, what could Brett Favre have done for the Rams? Damn, well, Sam Bradford has a mangled knee. He's done for the year. Hopefully he comes back healthy for next season. But Brett Favre, I'm glad he stayed his ass home. He's 44 years old, and he recently admitted to having memory problems. I guess that's what happens when you play in the NFL for 20 years. You get sacked about 530 times and hit another 1,000. Brett Favre needs to stay home. He has nothing to offer. Good luck to the St. Louis Rams. Hopefully Sam Bradford comes back fast, and hopefully Brett Favre can go into his old age with an OK brain. All the best to both parties involved. I hope Brett Favre is OK. Next question. Berendra Decal, Barcelona versus Real Madrid. Who wins El Clasico? Well, I'm pretty sure you know a whole lot more about football than I do. I just want to see what Neymar can do in his first Clasico. Is he going to melt under pressure or is he going to overcome it and help kick Ronaldo's ass? Anytime Ronaldo gets an ass kick and I think it is hilarious. And last question for Fan Friday comes in via Mac Misses. Well, she's kind of cute there too. But can the Steelers go over 500? They are currently two and four. I don't think the Steelers are going to do anything this season. I think they can get to 500 and go over because I think they play the Browns a few more times. Uh, that's a big help, but at the end of the day, Ben Roethlisberger is going to get his ass kicked and the Steelers will miss out on the playoffs. Now look folks, if you didn't see that video right there about the all NBA injury list for the year 2013, go ahead and give that a click. If you give a damn about baseball, I told you who I thought would win the World Series right there and then I will also be driving a McLaren soon. Yeah, I look like a burn victim in that video. I also look like the great gazoo with that big ass helmet. This is JR. Make sure you subscribe. I'm out. Y'all have a great weekend. It's Fan Friday. It's all about you.